What's up, party people? Today I have a very interesting topic for discussion. So once again, we have had a ton of duped items removed from the game. Um, and actually, in a post that I'm going to uh, cover in a second here, they say that they removed all of the duped items. So we'll see about that. Anyway, let's take a look at this post here. So uh, they're basically just saying here that any illegitimate items you get are not allowed and they will be deleted and you're not going to get them back, etc., etc., etc. That makes sense. Um, and uh, so they said from last week's illegit wings and backup and cleanups, we've been looking into weapons and armor this week. And they removed all the corrupt data. So that's all the duped items. And they removed a ton of stuff because I have seen stuff all over the uh, Discord and all over in game of tons of people that lost all their items. Uh, are some of their items. The other thing that they removed are the 35% um, uh, graces, which is kind of interesting because they say that they're monitoring the game economy, but I have to say that all those graces leaving the economy kind of made it a little bit crazy because a lot of people lost their currency uh, just because Dill is like doesn't seem to have much value right now. I mean, everyone just trades in graces. And unfortunately, a lot of people took the time to like, you know, farm like Matera Angers or Insanities or whatever and save up a bunch of these graces. And then they log in to find out that all of their graces that they worked so hard for have been deleted. So hopefully they will be reimbursing people. It seems a little up in the air on to whether or not everyone's going to get reimbursed. I have no idea. Personally, I lost uh, plus nine Olympia armor with some HP gems in it, and I also lost um, some graces, but I mean, it is what it is. I sent in a thing to try to get it back. We'll see if it happens. I have no idea, but it was the, the problem with this duped item thing happening again and again and again is it makes people uh, wonder like whether or not it's safe to trade other players. And right now, I mean, I don't feel like it's safe. Uh, anyway, this is just other D shop stuff. I'm not going to go over that, but let's look at this other post right here. Uh, so this was another post about that. And they were saying that we found every single item that has ever been illegally created or duplicated and removed all by updating our system last maintenance. So according to this, they deleted all duped items. And if that's the case, that's really cool. Um, except for the fact that it negatively affected legitimate players, but hopefully they can, they can work on that. Now, here's the only issue I have with deleting all the duped items. Um, is that if they didn't actually come up with a solution to the duping in game, then this is, in my opinion, kind of pointless because it's just going to keep happening again and again. And they're going to keep losing players because there will be legitimate players that farm their items and buy from other players. And then all of a sudden a dupe clean comes through and they lose that item that they worked so hard for. So I really hope that they're that they're coming up with a solution to the duping problem in the game. Because if not, it's it's going to kill the game. It's going to be very difficult for the game to function if you can't trust anyone that you ever trade. I mean, that's, that's just going to make the game very difficult. And as you know, um, playing on your own, if you're willing to spend a lot of money, you don't really need to trade other players. But if you're trying to play the game without spending a ton of money, you need to be able to trade other players. You need to be able to farm items, trade them for currency, and you know buy the items that you want to get. So if that's not available, not a lot of people are going to want to play. And I don't know about you guys, but if you log in right now, Decron is kind of a ghost town. I mean, you go to like our, our Deca in the main area and there are a lot of people that aren't online right now. And I think a big part of that has to do with the fact that, that a bunch of legitimate players lost their items. So that's that's very sad. Anyway, here they are talking about, you know, just, uh, just talking about like what's going on here. So in terms of, you know, like where all this legal stuff is coming from and they're saying um, that violations cannot be supported. Like if you're buying, uh, you know, things from illegal sites like G2D, G2G or just personal cash from other players, or if you've evolved in uh, item duplication. So another thing they said here is we are now able to spot who and where the item was duplicated. Even if you transfer an account via many characters, the logs clearly show all the steps. That's really good news. I hope that, I hope that they stay on top of it. I mean, um, if, if maybe every maintenance they deal with that, that's cool. But unfortunately, players can still get burned if someone dupes something and they hang on to it for a week and they trade it to someone and then that person loses the item. So it's very... Uh, I just I hope they can come up with a solution to the duping. And I've been told by several people that it's never going to happen, but I'm really hoping that it does. I'm optimistic. I like to you know look on the bright side and hope that things are going to get better. Um, and they're just saying that if you're a legitimate trader who bought in game, we apologize for the delay since it's a very important game economy. We're trying to take extra time to look at every close carefully. So I'm sure they have thousands of tickets of people that are 
that are that lost their items and are trying to get them back. And unfortunately, some of them will be legitimate players. Unfortunately, some of them won't be legitimate players, and they're just trying to play the system and get their illegal item back. So we're just going to have to kind of wait and let them see. Um, if you are a player that lost an item, you know, do send in a ticket. I mean, who knows how long it'll take them to get to that, but send in a ticket with as much information as you have, and hopefully you can be getting that back. Uh, so anyway, this is this is kind of the big thing that happened in Decron recently, so I really wanted to talk about it. It's, uh, it's very hard on the legitimate players who lost items that they worked hard for. That is, that is something that is going to turn people away from the game. So... To circle back around again, just all I'm getting at is if they keep doing this, you know, deleting all these items and people don't get their items back, you know, players are just going to keep quitting and eventually you're going to lose your whole, you know, legitimate community, which would be really sad. So hopefully they can get a grip on it. I will say, though, I'm very happy that they are being proactive about this and I look forward to seeing how they handle it in the future. And I'm hoping that they are going to uh, handle it appropriately. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have anything you want to say on this about the duped items or, uh, you know, if you have any questions or suggestions or anything like that, as always, guys, you can leave those in the comments. And until next time, take care.